Hi lovelies, Jenny here from Joy Energy Tarot. This is just a quick reading. What does Spirit want you to know? So whenever you watch this, this is the right time for you. So you start off with the Eight of Pentacles. So this is telling you that whatever you want to get done, get going. This is an Eight. Eight's a karmic. This is all about what goes around comes around. So if you put the work in, you're going to get the results. That's to do with relationships, to do with working for money, saving up. Um, anything that you want to happen, whatever you're trying to manifest, if you put your work in, you're going to get the results. You're working hard on trying to decide what to do. This is about where the world is your oyster. You're being given two choices here. Some of you are trying to make your mind up. It's like you've got one foot in the past, one foot in the future. You're dithering. You've actually got a couple of twos here. You're dithering, trying to make up your mind about something. This can be to do with two jobs, uh, two courses, two choices, two men. Um, but you're, you're juggling things and trying to work out what you would actually like to do. And it's right next to the Two of Cups. So some of you may have two men that you're trying to decide about. The Two of Cups is all about uh, happy karmic relationships. As you can see in this card, there's a couple here in the background. This means that you are meeting people that you gel with, that you've probably known before in a past life. This bodes well for those of you wanting to meet your soulmate. You might already be in, your, in a soulmate relationship. If you're already in a relationship, this means you're taking that relationship to the next level. And right next to it is the Ace of Cups. So those of you looking for love, this bodes really well. That it's that The chances of meeting somebody are very, very high. Uh, but with the Eight of Pentacles there, it means you've got to go out and put the work in. So that could mean um, going online dating, going out with friends, putting yourself out there, just sitting at home in the lounge like me. Um, you're not going to meet anyone unless you're online, of course. And then you've got the Ace of Swords. So this is like overcoming those difficulties, overcoming those challenges, coming up with new plans and new ideas to be able to achieve what it is that you really want to to you're coming up with new plans and you've got new energy as well and then those plans are covered by the star card so this means you've got the ability to manifest what you want you're being watched over and looked after by your ancestors your tipuna your guides whoever you believe in they're watching you and helping you to manifest these plans and to um, you know receive the love that you want that you deserve then you go on to the nine of swords so for, this has two meanings. This can be where you're waking up in the never-ending nightmare. For others of you, I don't always see it as negative. If you've met someone, you can be waking up in the night thinking about it, you know, overthinking. Is this the one? Is this the one for me? Or should I go out with them? Or are they going to ring me? That sort of thing. Uh, but this is where you're waking up, you're overthinking things. If it's nothing to do with love and you're trying to make up your mind and trying to make your decisions, say, to do with uh, this one, uh, write down the pros and cons of your choices to get it out of your head so that you can sleep better. But I feel then it's like, wow, the universe is going to take over, something's going to come along and give you a shove and it's going to come out of the blue and happen really quickly and it's going to bring you joy and happiness. It's positive. Whatever the universe shoves your way, go for it because the answer is yes and it's right under the ace of um, cups and the two of cups so if you've met someone and you can't make up your mind the answer is yes and the chariot who again overcoming all sorts of challenges and difficulties even uh, past life karmic difficulties or family difficulties that you've had that have been handed down to you through the generations some of you this represents going overseas or buying a car and then you've got the judgment card. You've been doing everything right. You've earned your angel wings. It's time to blow your own trumpet now. It's like out with the old and in with the new. So it's clear out the clutter in your life, including all those negative people who try to hold you back. And then I've got another little story here, which won't be for all of you. Working hard. This is about um, information coming in. Some, you've got the chance to learn something. And this is going to make you feel safe and secure in your life. And it's going to... Sorry, my arm's getting sore. <laughs> um, and then you've got the uh, Queen of Pentacles too. So the Knight of... The Prince of Pentacles prince of pentacles the queen of pentacles and then the seven of pentacles so the queen is all about being resourceful with your money 
It's where you're working hard, you're starting to see the results from your hard work, you're starting to reap the rewards, but also you're being really resourceful and making sacrifices to get what you want, to get where you are, want to be. And the Seven of Pentacles is all about working hard uh, for that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, being able to save up, you're nearly there, don't give up. For some of you, it means, are you? is this what you want to do? And that can be why you're worrying and you're overthinking and you've got the choices there because you may be sick of your job or not getting paid enough and just thinking, do I want to keep doing this? You know, is this really what I want to do? So there's a few different messages there for you lovely people and I hope uh, it resonates with you and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.